I'm curious why books are so powerful, right? Like you spoke to very much an experience I had growing up is exactly why I started Kind Cotton, right? Like once I noticed that not every child had that experience in the library, had that experience where, you know, my mom read me books every single day and they took me on adventures and they opened doors and opened my eyes to almost like these fantasy worlds that I just wanted to escape to, similarly to you. And then I noticed such a lack of access once I became an educator, like, oh, wait, you know, comes with immense privilege that I hadn't realized that until I became a teacher myself, that there was such a lack of access to books and I wanted to do something about that. But speak to that for a moment, like just the power of books. Um, well, I mean, for me, like I, you know, not only like having a love and a passion for children's literature, which I do like, you know, as a teacher, I had a huge library. So before I became a mom, you know, like Cadence inherited like my entire library of books. But ever since becoming a mom, right, it it's like I have like now I have permission, like I can, I can buy like any book yeah. I want because, <laughs> you know, and we're like, you know, we, you know, sometimes we we get them, you know, like from the author and sometimes we get them like at a thrift store, you know, but like it's amazing just to to be able to share that um that passion that love of for me it's really like a, a love of language because words they open up like you said you mentioned like open up doors and they really do like not only to your imagination but to your potential and to your um your dreams right mm -hmm. like seeing it in a book seeing a character um go through um all these challenges and then make it through at the end and reach their goal whatever that might be um or you know deal with you know an emotion that you know say most children might struggle with you know fear of you know anything like fear of the dark or fear of like you know a thunderstorm or whatever and to be able to um have like a book like a tangible you know story where a child is in you know experiencing this similar feeling and to to really be able to relate and the child doesn't feel so alone the mm -hmm. child feels like they can get through it too with the support of parents and so like this idea of writing books that are um in some way tied into like social emotional learning and growth where you're teaching um values and you're teaching skills or tools that kids can take with them like you know for for life is mm -hmm. is amazing you know like it's it's not just a book and you know there are so many beautiful books you know i i love you know my book collection but it's the message right the message mm -hmm. inside that each author like i said again each one of us has a voice and each author is using their voice to really amplify their their me message to the world um and you know usually it does come from like a very vulnerable place like i you know that's one thing that i i believe you know in in terms of like say lucinda right like the idea of expressing um herself and being free like that was something that i struggled with as a child like i said i was i was pretty shy and so like for me, the idea of bringing that um, sense of, you know, like imagination where you can do and be anything and you can express and be silly and jump like, you know, like a frog and, you know, and, and be like a dog, bark like a dog, like like all of that expression, you know, it in the child's world. It's like we need to let kids do that because that's mm -hmm. the world they live in right the world they live in is imaginative play and so if we meet them there then you know we can reach them right like we can reach them we can you know support them in their growth in their development 